Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a report in Microsoft Access 2016. Now before I get started off, let's try to understand what is a report. Now as per the definition, report is basically allowing me to organize and present my data in such a way that it will be reader friendly and visually appealing to other people. So let's take for an example that uh, we are going to share our data with someone else but you don't want that particular person to edit anything or you want do not want him to edit the database or you do not want him to share the actual records with that so at that time i will consider of creating a report so how a report is created in access 2016 we can create a report right from the scratch if i go under the create tab and under the create tab if i go to the report group out there you can see so many designs we can create a report depending on a particular form or a particular query as you can see out here we can create a report from the report wizard and it will walk you how this uh, report is being created in microsoft access 2016 now basically what it is talking about a report is a database object that comes in handy when you want to present the information in your database to following users now what are these following users if i want to display or distribute the summary of a data all right so if someone is asking you the summary of your database at that time i'll consider of creating a report the sec second thing it is saying if I want to archive the snapshot of a data let's say that I want a, a particular data and I want a snapshot, snapshot of it of the summary so at that time I will consider a report and third thing it will provide the details of an individual record let's say that I want to display the information of a this particular record let's say for a particular customer I want to uh, know the information about how much uh, orders they have placed so at that time I will create a report for the same and display it we'll get a better understanding how we create report and how we work with reports in our practical approach now in order to create a report I will be requiring a query table so I will move to the navigation pane and under the queries tab I will select any of the table so let's select orders query so I'll simply double click on it on the right side of my screen you can see the order queries table right in front of me so let's try to create a report for the same in order to do that I will move to the create tab and from create tab I will go to the report group and simply click on report the moment I click on report I have all my field out here perfect as you can see now if you have also noticed that some of the columns are too wide right so let me go and adjust the width of the column it can be done just selecting that particular field and I can simply drag it with the help of my mouse you make sure that none of my record is being overlapped like if I make it too narrow it will be too difficult to understand so I will just make it proper perfect so let me make it proper all right similarly i'll do this for first name as well i'll just simply narrow it down to the required size perfect Sim similarly i do it for the phone number as well okay so now i have all my fields ready with me let's say that few of the records which i do not require like uh, i do not require the zip code of it so i will simply select that particular field list and hit delete and it is boom it is gone similarly i can deselect or delete the header of it so just select it and just simply hit delete now i do not want this i have removed it completely perfect so this is how you can delete a particular record also if we do not want the last name i can simply select it and delete it all right the next thing which i have to make sure if i'm going to print this report i will always make sure that it's in inside this dotted borders so this the dotted border will give me an approximation of the page size of your print right so i will always make sure that every record lies between this so let's go on to go to the bottom and see as you can see this page is little bit outside the border so if i want this to be printed i will simply select this and drag it a little bit inside along with the table i'll undo this let me rearrange it so i can simply yes 
perfect so I have the proper entry now the, for the records which I do not require I can simply as I told you I can simply select it and delete it now I have my report ready with me now in order to see the report form as you can see this is the layout form how you can check that if I go under the view tab under the view tab the layout view is being selected now if I want the report view I can simply click on the report view and now this dotted lines are gone right in this way I can create a report and I can get an understanding of it and I can under, uh, adjust the width of the column using the layout form the layout view right in this layout view you can adjust the width and rest of the details if you want to delete or enter any record I can use the layout form and simply if I want just the report of it I will simply click the report view and I have the report ready with me all right guys so in this way we can create report in access hopefully you guys like this video see you until next time